Hey everybody, welcome back. Tim here, Gamma Viti. Got a fun one for you today. I have the rights to play with a civilian spec mega cruiser all day long here in Uray, Colorado. So I'm gonna do a little wheeling in this thing. We're gonna check it out. We'll talk about some specs. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. It's gonna be a fun one. off the table. So truth be told, we did not wheel this thing very hard, right? Uh, this little descent, 40 degree decline, kind of a pucker, kind of fun, but you know, the video never looks as steep as it really was. In any case, I wanted to be really nice to this mega cruiser. Didn't want to have any awkward conversation with the owner. So you're not going to see some any real crazy wheeling footage here, unfortunately, but hopefully you're enjoying this. It's sure fun to do. And there's just something so picturesque about this mega cruiser. You just can't stop taking pictures of it, staring at it. It looks so at home in the San Juan mountains here. So fun times, fun day. Hopefully you're liking this wheeling footage. Pop the hood real quick. 
This is a 15 BT engine, like we talked about. Inline four cylinder, 4.1 liter. Just think about that. One cylinder holds an entire liter. Just, just massive. All about low end torque here, turbo diesel. Um, it's not a fast truck as you've seen, but it's it's pretty sweet. You check out the clearance under this thing. We'll leave the Nalgene bottle in there for scale. Uh, this can drive over pretty much anything that we see in Colorado, except for the gnarly ones. Portal axles, obviously, really cool. See that CV going up the top of the hub there. Uh, direct drive because of the brake. You see that big brake right there? The brakes are actually stuck inboard. So um, no, really not much running gear out here on the tire side. Very, very cool how that works. Let's drive a little bit more, pop up this hill. We'll cruise back up that little hill climb. one good shot of that rear steer going around this switchback. I've gone around this in an 80, 100, 200, always had to hit reverse. Mega cruiser, no problem though. We probably had another foot to spare. So, so cool with that rear steering, really makes it fun to drive this thing out the hills. And those narrow shelf roads, yeah, a little bit of a pucker as a passenger. So fun to be in but you really got to trust your driver here you've noticed the uh, width of the mega cruiser especially when you're not driving back on pavement headed back down the hill yeah three wiper blades hit the wipers here in the rain so you wonder what inspired that fj cruiser here you go and you know once we get back into town tight parking spot sure rear steering it'll help you out so Kind of fun to have this mega cruiser, but it's very navigable with uh, with that rear steering here. So pretty cool in the parking lot. A little later in the day, we're still at it. Sometimes stuff just happens, right? So Profits Cruisers was cool enough to bring now a mil spec uh, mega cruiser down, park right next to the uh, to the civilian one. So a lot of people are checking them out here. Solid Axle Summit. This has been pretty fun. So let's check out the inside of the civilian thing. That's what we came Pretty to Pretty sweet in here. You got rear caps and chairs. They got their own fridge. They got a pop-up TV. There's some more screens that pop down. Uh, you know, really nice. Of course, we've seen the interior a lot. There's a nice good shot of the, uh, you know, dash and all the controls. So, and in back, we'll check that out real quick here. Big old sub, of course, you gotta have a sub. A nice good look at the seating, the consoles, little storage there and, you know, sleeping area down the middle here. It's got a little flip down staircase. That's pretty sweet there also. And since it's here, let's just take a peek at inside of this Profits rig. So right hand drive, a uh, little bit less luxury in this guy. Uh, more room for people, more room for your, your crew, your fridge, whatnot, but uh, not quite the luxury that we've been all in all day in the civilian version. So anyway, Thanks again to the Profits crew for bringing this one down. Uh, there you go. You got to like them. They're awesome. Couple more shots of the mill spec next to the uh, civilian. Pretty fun. So anyway, I tell you, the rear steer on the trails in town, pretty sweet to be able to do that. It really makes this vehicle not as big as it really looks, but it is big. It's slow. It's heavy, but it is super cool. As you can see, it attracts a crowd everywhere it goes. So, man, I hope this was cool for you. This has been a fun one for me today. Thank you for sticking with us on this one. Let me know what else you want to see on these videos, too. And, hey, I'll see you on the next one. God damn it.